Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing this easy fall look that I created. Um, I'm super excited. I love this look. I'm loving the base of my face right now. I didn't show you my base, but I haven't worn this foundation in a while and I honestly... Why haven't I been? So if you guys want to know how I got this easy fall look, just keep watching. So let's get started with our easy fall look. How have you guys been? I hope you guys have been good. I'm going to be doing our easy fall tutorial today using the Morphe 35.0 number 3 palette. They have three different kinds of this and like a matte, a shimmer. They have a bunch of this. This is like one of Morphe's most like famous, iconic um, lines. I actually threw out one of my like the original 35.0 and it's so good and I actually wish I had it. Today we're going to be using this palette. It looks just like this. I think I've just swatched this one. I don't think I've really actually like touched it. So I'm really excited to get to using this. So to prime our eyes, I'm going to be using MAC Paint Only Paint Pot. But you can use anything like concealer, foundation, anything that kind of gives you a nice little base. You don't always have to run out and get the, you know, what's new on the market. This is kind of old, but you know. Guys, I got my eyebrows laminated. That's why they're so big and bold. Um, and I've been loving it. We're actually getting brow lamination at my job. You know, my booking information is on my Instagram. As I always say, um, go check it out and let me know. All right, I'm gonna take a big fluffy brush. This is a Morphe M518. I'm gonna take this color right here. I'm just gonna pack a bunch on my brush and I'm just gonna go through everything and set my, uh, set my powder. Not my powder, my primer. I don't know guys, it's pretty early today. I'm, I'm already losing it. Since that color is all over the lid, I'm going to go in with this orange right next to it. With a Morphe M573. And we're going to take it through the crease. Just blend it in the crease. So you're just going to do windshield wiper motions. just, And then you can do like little, little circles. Little circles, little circles, little circles. Do you remember like the thing you used to do when you're younger? Little circle, little circle, bigger circle. To make like the pig, kind of like that. Little circle, little circle, bigger circle. How are you guys doing? I just got my nails done. I'm gonna build that up in the crease. This uh, color actually really does give me macaroni and cheese vibes. So take another dip into the color and continue to build up the crease until it gets to a color that I like. With eyeshadows, you're gonna wanna go slow and build up you're not just want to like dip 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 and then like smack it on you're gonna get more of a nicer you know gradual uh look rather than a kind of sloppy and choppy or muddy look so i definitely would suggest to take your time you don't have to do anything crazy so yeah and i'm gonna try to leave in as much blending as i can i really cut out a lot a lot a lot of blending but i'm gonna try to leave in as much as i can because today we're only doing the eyes i'll let you know what i have on my face the rest of my face but we're only gonna do eyes today I just wanted to, you know, keep it short and simple since I'm so long wind, like, long winded, I guess. I don't know. I just talk too fucking much. Girl, I talk too much. So you're going to want to try to make your eyeshadow as even as possible. I know it is a little bit hard because not everyone's face is as symmetrical as, you know, others. But again, my face is not symmetrical whatsoever, trust me. Um, so I really try to make sure that, you know, you're raising your brows, you're... You're making sure you're looking, you're looking down to see the different angles so you can get in there. Because you can definitely see a difference between when you look just straight and then when you look up. So you want to make sure that you're looking at different angles, giving a kind of a different view on it. Next, I'm going to go into this shade right here. I'm going to go on a Morphe M518. And it's kind of a more brush to like pack it in. And so we're going to pack this into the outer third. Um, the outer third is just right here literally and i'm just gonna especially with this brush it's really nice to just pat and pounce you can just pat and pounce that's the thing with eyeshadow you there's so many different techniques that you can do I'm just gonna dip back into there again just pat and pounce i'm gonna bring it a little bit i'm not gonna bring it past the middle i'm gonna keep it on the outer third but you want to make sure that you are blending and you are patting as well but you want to make sure that you're getting a little bit of a a moving circular motion so right now we're just darkening the outer third and making sure we have a little bit more dimension to our look. I'm gonna take it one step further and go with a little bit of a darker color. So you can stop here if you want um, for just this part, like darkening wise. I'm just gonna darken it a little bit more just because of my personal preference. I'm gonna take this shade right over here on a Morphe R37. I'm just gonna take that and pack it on. This brush is stiff as fuck. Um, yeah, a lot of, um, 
product came out on this. All right. I have all clean brushes. I cleaned my brushes the other day, so it was pretty delicious. Make sure you clean your brushes, guys. Just a reminder. So I'm going to do the same exact thing in the same area. Take on the outer edge and pat, 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 pat. And even just adding a little bit of darkness is going to differentiate the different oranges. Because sometimes, with this palette especially, there's not no tea, no shade. But it's not much to work with color-wise, differentiating from the oranges. So you want to make sure that you get, you know, just a little bit more dimension in there. So still a super easy tutorial, guys. Don't worry. Super easy. Again, just taking more of the same shadow. Pat, 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 pat. All right. And you can definitely see a difference between this eye and this eye. I'm going to do the same thing on this eye. Pat, 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 pat. And again, this is another color that we're not going to drag past the center of our eyes. All right, I'm going to go back into the Creepsicle shade, the first shade we originally went into. I'm going to take it on the outside. I'm just going to blend on the edges. Just It really helps to go back in with a clean brush or the first original color that you went into just to, you know, clean it up there. All right, queens and kings. All right, so next I'm going to go into, I'm going to keep my eyes just like this. I'm going to go into this color in the palette. Dip it into this one. Yeah, there isn't really other color that I really want. I'm just gonna dip it into there, tap the excess off. I'm using um, a Style Master brush. It's like a set from Amazon that I got like 100 years ago. Not gonna cut the crease, not gonna do anything. I'm gonna keep it super basic and super simple for everyone who doesn't even know how to cut the crease. So we're gonna go into this, the color I just showed you guys, and I'm just gonna go on my lid and I'm just gonna brush it in. And if you are using an eyeshadow palette and you're not really getting too much pigment, you can always spray like a setting spray, a MAC Fix Plus, uh, anything like that um, to keep doing it or you can continue to layer it on. And again with this brush too you can blend the same way. Just back and forth or circular motions. For this, just because I am trying to keep it a little bit lower, I am going to blend down. So instead of blending up or out, I'm going to blend going downwards okay guys i'm back we're gonna do the bottom lashes this is optional you don't have to do it i think this personally just brings together the whole entire look like i feel like very top heavy at the moment i don't even have lashes on so let's get started i'm gonna use a paul mitchell brush it just looks like this and i'm gonna take the like nice little creamsicle shade and just blend it's gonna blend I'm going to take the darker shade that we used. We used this shade on the same exact brush. I'm going to take that on I'm going to take that on this brush and just keep it on the outer third. So again, we're not going to cross this line in the middle. We're going to keep it out here. That's nice. <coughs> <coughs> Disgusting. Disgusting. All right, same thing on the other side. Keep it on the outside. And blend in. I'm gonna go back into the creamsicle shade in the beginning and go in there. Let me dip in once more. It's behind me because I literally am in a freaking light box. So everything's a freaking mess right now, but we'll get there. I'm gonna blend in the middle with the creamsicle shade just to make sure that is all good. I'm going to keep no eyeliner in this look just to keep it easy because not everyone can do eyeliner. And honestly, I literally fucking hate eyeliner. All right, so now we're going to prep for lashes. Again, another step that you don't have to do. You can just apply mascara and then you're done. But just because I'm dramatic as fuck, I'm going to apply um, lashes. So if you do want to put on lashes, I can help you figure out what you want to do. What you want to do. So first thing, curl your lashes. Duh. Next is apply mascara. All right, so you can leave it at that if you really do want. Uh, maybe put some uh, mascara on the bottom lashes as well. I'm gonna get there, but falsies first. All right, so I'm gonna take my other pair of Dodo uh, 326. These are my other favorite ones. Make sure you are trimming your lashes to your, uh, your eyes. Sometimes they're longer, sometimes they're shorter. Vice versa, you gotta make sure you're doing that. And before you put on any lashes, you got to make sure you go in with some eyeliner. 
Um, just at least, this is my kind of like tip and trick, I literally just go on the inner right here. Just do a nice quick little line. Literally just like that. Maybe I'll do it a little bit like this. There we go. Just like that, pop the eye, um, pop the lashes on, and you're good. Trust me. I literally do this all the damn time. All right, so I'm gonna take the lashes. I'm going to apply glue. I'm using my favorite duo glue. It holds the best. The one thing I can say for personally myself, uh, here in New Jersey, we do have Six Flags. We have one of the, I think we had the tallest roller coaster in the world. Not the fastest. It was not anymore. But I did ride. Um, on King Daka with these, like with this lash glue on all the roller coasters on at Six Flags. This is, mind you, like a while ago. This is way before COVID because I am not going to Six Flags. Fuck that. Moral of the story is I went on King Daka, I went on Nitro, I went on every single freaking El Toro, any roller coaster that we had in Six Flags, like at our Six Flags, and my lashes stayed on, my lashes were completely fine. So, sponsor me. Duo, let's let's partner up. Like we can go to like Six Flags and like we can show everyone that like this glue is literally elite. Period. I'm gonna take on like a little pencil brush. I'm gonna take this color right here. I'm gonna mix these two. I just wanna darken out the um outer corner a little bit more. I'm just a little a little crazy. But all right, guys, let's get started with the lashes. I'm very excited. All right, now that we've made it to the end, I'm going to use my Catrice setting spray. Literally my favorite. I cannot find one that I like more than that. It is so good. It's drugstore. It smells delicious. And I'm going to go in with the Jaclyn Hill. I don't even know what this is called. This is the Jaclyn Hill, the flash palette. I'm just going to go into ice and gleam. You no. Know, want a very subtle highlight today, I guess. Maybe not. We'll see. I'm actually going to go in the same brush and everything. I'm going to go into the Flexitarian Super Shock uh, Cheek from ColourPop. I'm just going to put a little on top of that. Delish. Guys, I love a nice highlighter. Like, I literally can't even lie. All right, cool. So since we got that, next I'm going to go into, this is a, a BH Cosmetics Weekend Vibe. I'm gonna take the Flexitarian, I'm gonna go on the inners, inner corner. Brightening up the inner corner is literally life, everyone. Like if you're not doing it, you need to be. And then we're gonna take it on the brow bone. Ooh, do you guys see that? We're gonna blend out, don't worry. Cute, I just love, Lashes are so delicious. I just use a L'Oreal Voluminous, one of my faves. An oldie but a goodie, if you will. All right, guys, so this is the look that I came up with. I hope you really liked it. If you guys do recreate it, definitely let me know. Tag me, send me pictures. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this look. If you make sure you like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, follow all my socials. Everything I used on my face today will be down below in the description bar. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to follow all my socials and subscribe for new videos. And I'll see you guys soon. Goodbye.